Okay, I'm going to talk about I'm going to talk about the 3D mesh editor. Um, if you go to the games demo games directory, go to Vroom, you can see there's 3D meshes in the source code. Now, how is this stored? Some people think that these these are Um, text and graphics are combined. It's not ASCII. My source code is not ASCII. My source code is DollDoc. And uh, a DollDoc file has the graphics at the bottom. You can kind of think of it like a PDF or something. It's, it's a combination of graphics and text. So here's the graphics. Here's the text. So I have, I have my own. It's not... The source code is not ASCII. It's got ASCII at the top and graphics at the bottom. So uh, let's look at how the 3D meshes are stored. The, the graphics begin as vector, but you probably convert them to bitmap. Um, if we look at the, uh, this is a mesh. Two, anyway, a mesh, let's, let's look at it as text. What it is, is it's a series of vertices and then triangles with uh, it, th these are the these points are the vertexes and then these are triangles with uh, three vertexes and a color so that's how the meshes are stored so it um, and then it does a projection of, of multiply by a matrix to um, to project a, a, in three-dimensional space um, so if we want to make a uh, let's make let's make a uh, let's make a spinning um, three-dimensional mesh. So um, Control R, make sprite, create 3D mesh. Um, what do you want to make? How about a uh, oh. I don't know. Uh, so you can um, you can rotate the axes. Um, so uh, let so you place vertexes. Um, let's make a. Uh, I'll just make something. How about, uh, now let's go up. I'm going to make a... a trapezoidal... Oh, shit. Okay. Now I do color. Let's do red. And let's do... Uh, let's zoom and uh, let's do a triangle uh, let's see okay so the order that you go matters because there's a clockwise and a counterclockwise Okay, now let's do color. Let's do green. Uh, I get kind of, I get, I get my orientation messed up. Now let's spin it around the green axis. Let's do color blue. OK, 
Okay. Now let's 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 spin it around the red axis. And let's do color. Let's do brown. Okay. So um, let's do escape. Exit. So I made a uh, object. Now um, let's do FS draw in. DC, DC, F10, depth, depth buffer, allocate, device context, DC, and then we say, uh, let's say, sprite, um, oh, okay, let's, Matrix four by four, um, rotate X, rotate X, X equal. We want rotate rotate X. M Okay <clears throat> BC R comma T sub S Matrix Let's rotate Y two So we're rotating about the X, Y, and Z axis and uh, we're going to say DC flags or equals DCF transformation. And we're going to do sprite 3B quote or, um, DC comma. Task. Task. Pixel width divided by two. Task. Pixel height divided by two. Zero. Comma. Control R. Pointer to sprite number one. Okay, so I just made a a draw it callback. Oh, it looks like we're clipping with the. Uh, okay, let's bail out. Okay, so we're. Let's do the Z. It, it's clipping with the front of the screen. So we have to say GRZ. GRZ all will put it back in. It'll put it back. There we go. Okay, so now we have our object. We're at the command line. It's rotating. We, we can move it back and forth. Um, plus 100 times sine T sub S. It's moving back and forth. So um, this is Divine Intellect, I'm the smartest programmer on earth. I was chosen to make God's Temple. 
and fuck you. <laughs> Suck my 